Hambit, and I'm a pastry chef from Korea. Hi everybody, it's Hamid here. 안녕하세요, 저 Hamid입니다. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make delicious mulled wine. It's December, it's getting quite chilly here in Korea, and Christmas is coming up. So I thought it was about time to share my recipe of the mulled wine. I wanted to give more of a Christmas vibe in this video, so I'm going to wear the Santa hat all the way through, although it's taking me time to get used to it. So what is mulled wine? Mulled wine, in French it's called vin chaud, is essentially red wine infused, boiled or warmed up with all the amazing Christmas spices and fruits. There's no set rule to which spices or fruits you need to use in a mulled wine. So there are many different types of recipes out there. And this is the recipe that I like and hope you like it too. I'll go over the ingredients. This is mulled wine. So obviously you need wine. You need red wine. I'm using Merlot today, but I've seen lots of people using Zinfandel, Cabernet Sauvignon, and etc. Let's go over to the spices because spices make all the difference. I've got cinnamon, I'm using cinnamon stick, cloves, and star anise. If you don't have all these three, I think the minimum, the minimum minimum will be cinnamon. Obviously you can use other spices like cardamom, allspice, peppercorn, etc. Now fruits, the most common fruit that's used for mulled wine would be the orange. I've also added apple because I think just adding orange alone can be a bit flat in terms of the flavor. Now sugar and water. This mulled wine is meant to be sweet, so you need to add some sort of sweetener. And I like using just white sugar, just plain white sugar, but you can also use honey or maple syrup. Regarding the water, I personally like adding water. I think just using red wine alone without any water is a bit too strong for me. And also, if you think about it, you're going to bring this to a boil and you're going to simmer it. And while it simmers, it evaporates. So if you start with, let's say, 700 milliliters of red wine, you're not going to end up with much. And it's going to become extremely concentrated. Some people like that, but personally, it's a bit too strong for me. If you like mulled wine with a kind of strong flavor, you can either leave the water out completely or just reduce the amount of water I've written in the recipe. Now, it's just a matter of cutting up my apple and orange and putting everything together into a pot. That's it. Right now, it's time to add everything in. So in goes the wine. The water. Quite a bit of this water is going to evaporate, so don't worry too much about diluting your malt wine by adding water. Sugar. Cinnamon. Star anise. Cloves. And the amazing orange and apples. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this to a boil and once it starts boiling, I'm going to turn the heat straight down so that it simmers for around 20 to 30 minutes. So it's going to stir it a few times so that the sugar dissolves completely. Right, so I've simmered my mulled wine for about 20 minutes. I'm going to taste it. And if I don't feel that it's strong enough, I'm going to simmer it for another 10 minutes. Oh my God, that's good. All those Christmas spices, the fruit, the orange and the apple. It is sweet and it's just delicious. It's fantastic. I don't think I need to simmer it further. It's just perfect. Hope you've enjoyed this video on making delicious mulled wine. It just smells amazing. Oh, and by the way, mulled wine is meant to be served warm, hot, so that it just warms you up. However, you can chill the mulled wine and serve it cold with ice. And trust me, that tastes delicious as well. Although I'm not sure how you should name it because it's chilled mulled wine, so it's cold mulled wine, and 
it kind of contradicts itself, right? It's called hot wine. But hopefully you can come up with a better name for it. Anyway, this smells so good that I'm going to say goodbye right now. And after I turn the camera off, I'm going to drink the whole glass. So hope you make this and share with your families and friends and they'll love it. Have a great Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. 즐거운 성탄절 되세요. 감사합니다. Thank you.